So there are a lot of mental health issues when you think about the vaccine rollout. Uh, for those who have already uh, or who have an appointment to have a vaccine um, and those who are waiting uh, to get their vaccine. You know, when the vaccines were first announced at the end of uh, 2020, I think uh, we were dealing with a lot of um, people's questions that they had, the uncertainty that they had about the vaccines. Are they safe? to take, will I have any side effects? What were the, what are the long-term effects? And, you know, from that point of view, you know, people, people benefit from the reassurance now that we know that um, the, the, the small chance of, of risk related to taking the vaccine is far outweighed by the benefits of having the vaccine. We've seen elders, for example, receiving their vaccines and encouraging other people in their community to do so. But it's important to acknowledge that people's anxieties about that um, are there. And it's important that one of the ways we allay that anxiety is by being really clear about you know, what we're sharing, about what we know about the vaccine. So we do know, you know in Canada that you know, vaccines are regulated, they are safe, uh, they are effective. Um, and especially for people um, wondering about you know, how effective they are, uh, once you have achieved you know, the immunity related to the vaccine, um, you know, your chances of, of getting COVID are greatly reduced. And even if you do get, if even if you do contract COVID-19, your chances are that you will have a, a, a much milder course. Um, so I think, you know, people's apprehensions about getting the vaccine, um, it's important to, to listen to those apprehensions, but to encourage people that really getting the vaccine is the best thing that you can do to protect yourself, to protect the rest of your family who lives with you, and to protect your community. 